Alright, it's time for Let's Play Spyro the Dragon. To give you guys a little bit of information, I uh, am playing this on EPSXE, the PlayStation 1 emulator on my computer. I do own the game, but I don't have a capture card for my PlayStation or anything like that. So, um, running this on my computer, I'm using a PS3 controller via Bluetooth. For goodness sake, it's going to the demo mode. PS3 controller via Bluetooth using uh, Motion Enjoy utility to emulate a 360 controller on my computer with my PS3 controller and I configured all the buttons to work with EPSXE. Anyway, if we can get out of the freaking demo mode, we'll be able to play the game. Um, I have played this game all the way through, but that was many, many years ago. Um, played it uh, as, as a kid, I was like six or seven or whatever. Not sure exactly what age it was. Must have been slightly older than that, seven or eight. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great fun game. I loved it to bits, and now I shall play it again for you guys and for me, mostly for me. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> for a dragon's age, we now have twelve thousand treasure, or is it fourteen thousand? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Bimbong. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it. Looks like I've got some things to do. Okay, so a very, very uh, deep and intriguing story. Nasty Nork felt insulted by the dragons and cursed them. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Wonderful, and I believe this is a save point. Yes, it is, and we can listen to that dragon's uh, little message again. Anyway, let's go over and save this dragon. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. Excellent, so just so you guys know, I didn't actually remember that spot was there. I'm not going to save the game at every single dragon, I don't think. Or maybe I will. It doesn't take very long. Um, I didn't remember that spot was there, I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. So, um, let's have a look and see if we can catch this bugger. Oh, damn him. We we'll get him, we we'll get him. Oh. Uh, oh, he's still going. Okay, we got it. Oh. Owned. Okay, the freaking camera controls were a little bit difficult at times. Gotcha. But we managed to take care of him. Now let's see what this little jumping puzzle was. And we do have glide. I wasn't sure whether we started this game with glide or not. Whether that was an acquired skill, because in most games it is an acquired skill. There's not anything over here. I swear there's something over here at some point. Oh, it sounded like there's the, the like the in-game portal thing behind that or something. Oh, and that just okay. I was seeing if we could do some kind of head bash or something, but I'm not. Wait, no triangle. Looks in a, okay. We get these guys. Oh, blast them! Grab the gems like a boss, and I believe we can. Yes, we can torch these flowers. Now let's just try and make this jump right here. Oh, for goodness sake, okay, okay. It's gonna be a little bit tough. I remember trying this over and over and over as a kid. But we'll get it, okay. Oh, no, I'll get it. I swear I'll get it. Maybe I will actually just give up and not do it, but we'll give it a couple more shots. Oh, no, okay, let's leave that for now. And go smash these noobs. Okay, Um, and we actually might as well go through that portal pretty shortly. Let's just do this little jumping puzzle if I can 
not be terrible at the game. Okay. So yeah, it has been quite some time since I've played this game, but I shouldn't be too rusty. Let's have a look here. Stone Hill. I'm not sure whether this is the first world, or well, it's obviously the first world we're going to. I'm not sure if other worlds are already open or whether we have to open them up by completing worlds, but I guess we shall find out. And already we have some delicious treasure right behind us. Okay, and nothing... We can't jump in that fountain or anything. Um, there's a thing down here. Dragon. Perfect. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Wonderful. Three dragons already. We're doing well. Let's, um, save the game right here. Just make sure we save all the time to waste you guys time and irritate you all. Ha 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 Anyway, up this magic floating. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what's funny is that this game has terrible graphics and everything. Um, and it's very, s well, rather simplistic, I suppose. Not very. Um, but I'd much rather play this than, say, oh, shit. Oh, he got me. Then this than, like, Cod or, or something. So, clearly game makers need to go to less effort. Oh, owned. Okay, give me, give me one of these. Okay, I, I took out all of them, but that doesn't matter. Let's go down here, because there was no bugger in front of it. Oh, damn, I'm not terribly good at controlling Spyro just yet. But I will regain these skills. And we got a little dragon life. Sweet. And it seems to be the portal home right here. We won't quite activate that yet, but we will save this dragon. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> okay. I love Spyro's voice. It's genius. <clears throat> anyway, we are going to explore all the way through this level and find all the epic gems and what well, they call it treasure. I heard an egg thief that we will go find. Oh, Just poon some noobs first and make sure, yep, there's a bit of treasure laying about. Make sure we pick up most of that. Well, preferably all of it, but probably won't end up getting exactly all of it. Oh, yes. You have to charge those things, by the way. You can't flame them. You can flame the, the wooden ones if you want to, but there's some gosh darn wizards. Okay, and we'll come back and get that gem after we take care of this wizard over here. Oh, yes. Give me that gem. Okay. Now, into the magic vortex thing. And I believe we will find ourselves a dragon. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Aha, so that's what I was doing. I tried to press the triangle button before when I tra said I tried to do a head bash. I think we either have the head bash now or we get it at some point. Maybe it's in a different Spyro game. We definitely get a head bash at some point in a Spyro game. Um, where do we glide off this thing? Is it just off this point here? I know at one point you can glide off, and yes, perfect, and we get up here, uh, because there is a little egg thief somewhere around here, I believe, and we will find him, and kill him, and take back the egg, there he is, we get ya, we're gonna get ya, I'm gonna get ya, I'm gonna get ya, got him, that was easy. So the, um, what are the eggs? I don't know exactly what the eggs are. I guess they're just dragon eggs. But, um, the egg thieves get harder and harder to catch as you progress through the game. You find more and more tricky egg thieves and they have more complicated routes around their little areas. And there's, um, like special egg thief specific, like, little areas that you go to where there's just an egg thief to capture. Anyway, let's go down. I think this is just the last path. 
over here in this world. And we get some tasty treasure. Oh, yes. I love treasure. And then a few more chests. Oh, yes. And then we'll save this bugger. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. I don't know what he was insinuating by that or whatever, but, um, I feel insulted in some way. Maybe he was being sarcastic, as if, of course, Spyro never runs into trouble, he's just the town trickster. Um, so what I'm wondering about is where the heck this key was, because I didn't get a key yet, did I? But there, I need a key for that thing, so I'm guessing I missed it over this way somewhere. Um, it's got to be around here somewhere. Not. There's nothing in the well thing, nothing just laying about behind this tower, maybe in this little nook. No. Um, wait, was that a chest I just saw up there? I don't know. No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe we'll just go back up there and have a quick squiz. See what we did miss. Oh! Yes. Because there's got to be around here somewhere. The key. Got to be hiding here somewhere. Let's just make sure we check around, canvas the area, as it were. Nothing, no keys laying about around here. It's got to be somewhere. Maybe it's, I didn't explore this entire area for, fully, did I? All the way up around here. No, not just on this little mound here. Oh, here we go. Little gem. I hope you guys can see well um, when I'm sprinting around at the speed. I know a lot of people get motion sickness or blurred vision when you run around as a video game character like this, but I'll assume you guys are fine with the way I'm controlling Spyro. Come on. Seriously. There's, there's got to be a key around here somewhere. Oh, up here, okay. It'll be up here somewhere, surely. Okay, okay. What is this area? There's no way to just fall down off it, is there? Okay, give me that. And... Maybe we've got to get up on top of this thing. Um... I'm not exactly sure. But we'll have a squiz... Oh! Missed some gems over here. Okay. Is there a way on top of this thing? It doesn't really look like it, does it? So we will go back over here. And... Oh, what's... Oh, that's the end. Wait. There's a spot down there. The key might be on that beach. Um, we'll come back to the beach very shortly. I suspect that's where the key is. Seems most likely that it'd be in that little area if it's not up on top of this place. But we still haven't fully searched this area, so... That's the wizard tower, so it seems like we just about have fully searched it now. If I can work out which way moves the camera, which which button moves it which way. So, okay, so let's check the beach. Um, lastly. Okay, let me onto the beach. Thank you. Oh, here we go. The key. Wonderful. I knew it would be on. Well, I didn't know for sure, but I suspected it would be on this beach. Indeed it was. Give me that gem. Okay, now we just got to go open the chest and then leave the world. And we will have completed it 100%, I believe. Oh, down here. Take me down. Open, please. Oh, yes. The gems. And we get exactly 200, it seems, right? By finishing the 200 out of 200. Perfect. Um, I don't know if I'll be 100%ing every single level. That might take uh, quite some time. Which way was out? This way? Yeah, it'll probably... No, it wasn't this way. It'll probably take too long to 100% every single level. But I will, uh, uh, you know... 
I'll, I'll just play the way that's most fun, I suppose. Returning home. I think whenever we, we return home, the um, the dudes will respawn, but we can't, we can't get the gems off of them again. Yep, they respawn. Um, anyway, with this, I think we might as well round it off for this episode. So, till next time.